Some of the Woodbury County Supervisors will likely attend the hearing, which comes one day after the board's weekly meeting. During last week's Supervisors meeting, Ernie Colt, a business representative for North Central States Regional Council of Carpenters Union, raised concerns about the ongoing new law enforcement center construction project. He said the general contractor, Hosman Construction, does not have a daily sign-in and out sheet for workers. Colt has been a vocal critic of the workforce hired to complete the project, but last night members of the board indicated they are satisfied with the project's workforce. We asked for the law enforcement center authority uh, to divulge the subcontractors. We made that information public tonight. We also clarified that to our knowledge, the quality assurance questionnaire has been completed and that for purposes of payroll, uh, taxes, and other uh, employee compensation, uh, that there has been monthly reporting. And so we made that information available tonight. The Law Enforcement Center Authority is made up of one member of the Board of Supervisors, one member from Sioux City City Council, and one community member. Ernie Colt did not attend last night's supervisors meeting. And also at last night's meeting, the supervisors voted to move ahead with a series of three public hearings to discuss new proposed changes to the county's ordinance on wind turbine setbacks. The first hearing is planned as a part of the board's normal weekly meeting on May 9th. Meanwhile, in a separate matter, the supervisors took no action on a request from County Attorney James Loomis to provide $2,000 bonuses to the eight members of his staff. We just gave, about two weeks ago, a $1,000 bonus to every member of that particular union. Now this is just carving out for eight individuals within the county attorney's office because there's some discretionary funds, uh, yet another bonus. And so it becomes a where does it end? Loomis had suggested the bonuses should be paid from fines collections. He says his office is severely understaffed. 